Joining us now is everyone's favorite Republican turned libertarian, political strategist, Mary Madeline. Mary, it's great to see you here. Um, you know, we have now a whole history with you and your libertarianism. Um, so it seems to me appropriate that we ask the question, your party's candidate nominee, Gary Johnson, today had a little bit of a moment. Um, what do you think about the question Mark and I were just discussing? Dead or can he survive? No, his, his problem is he's not really a libertarian. I mean, it's, it's not attractive to, if you're a real libertarian, you know why you're a libertarian. I don't think the Aleppo issue will get him. And I, th I like what you guys said, everybody's gonna be looking at him now. But in this election, as you know, he, for the two major candidates, over 50% of each of their support is due to not liking the other guy. So Hillary's supporters don't like Trump, and that's what they're voting for. So in his case, his, his support is predicated on they don't like either of the others, and that's why they're looking at him. But if you're a libertarian, he's not. In, what, in what way is he not a libertarian? I'm just curious. He's sort of a, he's a, the political equivalent of a cafeteria Catholic, you know, just religious liberty. Religious liberty is the essence of liberty, at least American liber liberty. And I, I don't, he's just, he's not on point on things. He's a, he's a lovely fellow, and I hope he does get to the debates, but I would have rather that Austin Peterson be the candidate. But, but it, I don't want to oversimplify what being a libertarian means, but he's for lower government, less taxes on the fiscal side, and he's for, uh, uh, you know, less government in terms of social issues. I mean, what, what is and there a for, is there, for gun are you, rights? Are you talking about he's, he doesn't have it in his gut, or there's specific he's, he's policy relative issues? to the one party, which is a two parties representing yeah. one interest. Right. Okay, yes, he is more libertarian than that. Right. But he's not a clarion call for classical liberalism or a class, classical libertarianism. So he's not like an intellectual. No, well, he's not. You're making me say something mean about no, it. No, I'm no, not. No, I just I'm just because it seems to me. I agree that he has some positions that are a little bit off, and I agree he's not been a member of the party for more than 48 minutes, but I just wonder, I just don't quite get what there you're saying about him. There is no, uh, ostensibly, apparently, no contemporary adaptation of libertarian right. principles to trade, to right. foreign policy, to what it, name anything.